when you first go to your membership directory, it looks just like this. Um, for those of you that aren't sure, if you click on the members only portal, um, you should actually be able to go in there. And Michelle, if you could drop the actual link in the chat, um, this way people can just go there. You could go onto your membership portal and you can actually find this. Um, it's on our directory right underneath membership portal. You click on it. Uh, once you go there, you'll see three different options. You'll click on my member portal and you'll see this little screen that says members only. Every organization, every company has their own username and password. Every person that we associate with your company, we call them related profiles. Um, that's you as the owner or you as the employee. You each have your individual one. Anything that we're really doing for the company, you want to make changes under that major one. If you're not sure what your username is or what your password is, there's two ways you can go about this. You can click the, I forgot my username and password, or you can send Michelle or myself uh, a message and we would be happy to give you your username and your password. Once you log in, um, you're actually able to update your information. And as I just said, you can always click us. The one area that we find people get a little confused in is they update their personal account or their related profile, not their business account. And then they don't see those changes in the membership directory. So that's that little difference between the two. Um, the best part is that this is only for members. Non-members cannot get into the membership profile. They can't see anything that we put in there. Um, they can't access events or services that are specific for our members. So like our member to member discount, you have to be logged in as a member in order to see that. When we have an event, there's usually a pricing for members and non-members. You have to be logged in to get the member pricing. Um, for those of you that are aware of this, a lot of times people book their uh, event ticket and they book it as a non-member and then they have to reach out to Tina and ask Tina if she can give them a credit and you know apply that discount for them. So it usually helps just to do these things right from the beginning. Once you log in, you see this new screen. It says profile update. These are the things that you can do. You can see what your profile home looks like. You can change your username. You can change your password. Um, you can click another button called Stay Informed. Stay Informed is, we'll go into it, it's a little bit more for us than it is for you. Um, you can submit an event, whether we're talking about a community event that you want listed on our calendar, um, or you want to find out how do you list your event on our major calendar. You can pay your bills, whether it's an event bill, uh, a guild bill, uh, your regular membership bill, or anything else associated with that. You could update your profile, and there's a lot of different things that we'll go into with that. Um, occasionally, we'll put surveys into our profile. You have to log in as a member to be able to do them. Um, you can get a yearly referral report. Um, you can actually log in at any time to get this. Uh, it'll show you uh, how many people check out your member directory. Do they click on your social media? What is the return on investment of your online directory? So these things are actually really important to do. I would suggest looking at that referral report at the very least four times a year. Honestly, pulling it once a month will give you a better picture. But if you look at it four times a year, you can then break it down by months. You can update your media. That's going to include logos, images, videos. Um, but this is going to depend on your uh, listing level. Keep in mind with our membership, we have our startup package, we have our standard tier, we have our add-on packages to our standard tier. The marketing package comes with an enhanced listing directory. That's videos, uh, logos, images, basically making it look like it's your website. Um, we also have a workforce package. Um, then we have our anchor package. In between, some people like to do a la carte and add things. Our anchor package comes with an enhanced directory listing also, um, but it has a few more features that are in there. You can always go on the website and click membership and see what those different tiers are. You can add a coupon. We have two different kinds of coupons. There's a member to member coupon, which only our members can log in and see. And there is also a regular coupon, which is for the public to see. Um, one of the things about this is if you do post a coupon, um, we get an email, we go through, we make sure everything looks great. 
Uh, we might ask you to tweak a couple little things. After we do that, we will then um, reach out with Dom. He's on here right now. Everyone wants to chat to him. Dom will take your listing. He'll figure out a way to put it on social media, to put it in our newsletter, and let people know about it. You know, so it gives you a little bit of a bump too. Um, member to member discounts are a great way to advertise your business to other members of the chamber. Um, over the years, we've seen different things. We've seen, you know, discounts at a restaurant. Tell them that you're a chamber member. They give you five, 10% off. We've seen people give like a free glass of wine at certain restaurants. Um, I've seen discounts on, um, you know, certain gyms or yoga places. I've seen, um, you know, staples or fast signs give discounts on flyers and banners and all these different things. Um, if you could figure out to put something in that's something for chamber members, not something that you're giving to everybody, you can put the giving to everybody in the regular section. Um, but if you have a special coupon for members, it's a great way to do it. And that's kind of why Dom puts it in our newsletter and posts it on social media, because we want to make our members aware that you're going out of your way to do something special for them. Once you're logged in, you can edit a lot of information. There is a, a protocol in place though. When you edit your name, your address, basic information, uh, your directory listing, descriptions, social media handles, any affiliation codes, relationships. These are other people that work for you. These are maybe a, a partner, uh, employees, consultants, your marketing person that you want to get uh, our newsletter from and be able to edit your profile. Anytime that you edit our online directory, Michelle and myself each get an email and we have to go in and approve it. We just look for errors. Um, did you put the right number of digits in your phone number? Um, did you, you know, um, misspell, because this does happen, the name of your own company? Um, did you not include uh, the dot after the website? Is it .com? Is it .net? Whatever it is. So we just look over that. Um, if there's an issue, we'll reach out to you. Um, but almost always, we just approve everything because, you know, it looks good. Uh, but we do get that. It's just a safety feature to make sure that there's not an error and then people can't reach out to you. Um, it's very easy to update this. And like I said, the more you update, the more relevant your profile is, um, not just relevant to what's going on in your business. I recommend updating it to what's going on in the world. Seasons, seasons change, new products come out. Just keep updating it as much as you can. Once you log in, here's what it kind of looks like. You can click the edit my profile button. You can click, you can click edit your information. You can click to see your invoices. You can um, click to edit who the main contact is. Do I want to add on another person or a, a separate email address? Anything like that. Um, once you have all the right permissions set, you then just click save and everything is saved in there and sent to Michelle and myself. There is an update form. This gives us a little bit more information. Your general information. Um, usually we tell everybody this is the business, not you yourself. Um, who is the contact for the business? We recommend the business itself have a separate email from what the related profile is. And if you're the only person, a sole entrepreneur, and you're the one who receives all the information, if you have another account, an info account, an admin account, um, it is usually a good idea to put that information in. Um, but then um, have another feature, your related profile, where we have your email contact. Um, as much as we want to show people your info account and give that out so that they can put in their general request, when we reach out, um, we would just want to reach out to you directly and not have that email get lost in the information. You know, I'm going to just refer to it as a trash bin because that's usually what it is. Um, but um, you can add that in. You can put everything there. You can add additional email addresses if you want to get it at multiple places. You can change your directory listing. You're allowed to choose your directory listing. Make sure it's relevant. Make sure it's appropriate to what you do. Um, but you can choose your directory listing. Um, and then you can fill in all of that subsequent information. Long description, short description, products, everything else. Um, make sure to throw in keywords. It's very good. Um, you can change the social media handles. And then you can just update your preferences. Do I want to receive email? 
Do I not want to receive email? Um, I have to tell you that signing up and then checking off not to receive email kind of defeats the purpose of signing up um, because we'll never be able to get in touch with you. As we send information out in our CRM, it will constantly just resend it back to ourselves um, and block it from you. Um, your info account, that's the one to make public for the world to see, um, but to share with us your regular email so that we can get in touch with you is a great move. So enhanced listings. As I had explained, we have different tiers. We have our startup package. If you haven't checked out our website, please go to our website, go to membership. Dom has done a fantastic job of making it very clear, very nice flyers that explain what comes in these. If you're a brand new business in less than three years, the chamber has a new tier called the startup tier. Uh, it's to grow with us. For this, um, you do not get an enhanced listing. It's a generic chamber membership. It's a little bit scaled down from our regular membership but it's to help get you involved in the chamber and grow your business. Our standard tier is exactly what it sounds like. It's a standard tier. Um, for those of you that are my age or older, you remember buying a car, the standard package when you bought your car didn't come with a radio. It came with a box where the radio was supposed to go. It came with the rollers. You had to roll up your windows yourself. Okay, that's what standard implies. Your standard directory listing looks like a yellow page ad. You have your logo, you have your social media. That's it. We can't make it look like your website. We can't embed videos, other images, make everything look really colorful, engaging, interactive. Um, that's a standard tier. A lot of our members that are at the standard tier, uh, they pay $100 extra and they get the enhanced directory. I usually tell everybody with the chamber that's the best $100 that you've spent um, because that's really where you're going to see the most you know, return on your investment from the directory. After our standard tier, we have our um, add-on packages, as I had said. Our marketing package comes with an enhanced directory. They can add in multiple photos. They can add, uh, embed videos. Uh, YouTube and Vimeo work the best. Um, so if you email Michelle and I a video and say, can you add this to my member profile? Um, we can't add it if it's not currently online. Has to be on YouTube, has to be on Vimeo. We're willing to go in and grab the embed codes and do things like that, um, but that's the only way that we can do it. Um, how many photos can I add? There is no limit with the enhanced directory. Like I said, some people have chosen to make it look just like their website. Very engaging, lots of things that they can click on. Everything's a hyperlink, um, looks really good. Our anchor tiers also have the enhanced uh, listing. The difference is that our membership directory is alphabetical for all of our standard tiers, our marketing package. It is not alphabetical for our anchor tier. Our anchor tier members, uh, there's a different colored box around them and they are propped up at the very top of all of the listings um, to give them more exposure. So, this is how you can kind of update that. Um, keep in mind that your logo, you want to keep it about 245 picks by 160. Um, it's a recommended, so nothing gets cut off. If you need help with that, please reach out to us. We could definitely do a little bit of resizing and everything. Um, you want to use a JPEG or a PNG. Um, if you're sending it to us to resize it, please send us a high def. Um, I recommend PSD files. You know. Uh, if you have a, tra a transparent file, vector file, send us that. We can work with it. Um, same thing with your additional photos. Your additional photos, we can really, you know, include them and make them look really nice. The YouTube video, we want to keep the size 300 by 300 so that um, it is proportional to what you would see on YouTube. Otherwise, it looks like Stretch Armstrong, somebody pulled it out, um, and your video looks out of whack. What else can I do? I had told you originally that there was that other box, um, Stay Informed. The Stay Informed box is actually for us. Tell us other things that you're involved in. All of these business group affiliations, if you click any of them, they will show up in your business directory. Uh, Michelle and I have spent a lot of time getting all of these affiliation logos. So if you're in a BNI, if you're in uh, a Chambers Business Guild, if you're in a Kiwanis, a Rotary Club, if you're in the SIDC, the Bucks, if you're um, in some other sort of group, 
you check off that box and we have a nice little logo for that that shows why do we do this people that are involved in multiple business organizations or business related networks when other people are looking them up residents or businesses there is a level of credibility that goes with this if you have taken the time to join a chamber of commerce to be involved you must be serious about your business if you have taken the time to be involved in a rotary in a kiwanis club you must really be involved in your community and care about your community so we want to put these things because we want to showcase all the great things that you do because this is associated not with you with your business with your organization if you have people in your organization that are in multiple things you can check them off remember it's not you so if um you know for argument's sake uh, the chamber of commerce was also in the south shore rotary um in the kiwanis club um in the staten island business council we would check off those boxes and these icons would appear in our directory listing I mean, you can see that a lot of our members have gone out of the way and done this. If there's something that doesn't appear here and you would like it shown, send Michelle and I an email. Um, we could talk with you. There are times where I have to say to somebody, I'm sorry, that's not really a business related group. I can't add that in. Um, but more than likely, I would ask you to tell me why before I said no. Um, I don't want to be judge, jury, and executioner on why things are and not allowed um, in there. Um, but I want to hear from you why it should be. If you, you can tell me why, I'll add it in. Um, our goal is to showcase your business. Um, and this also helps us when we get asked, um, tell me about the veteran-owned businesses on the island. This is a quick and easy way for us to run a report and see who are they. Tell me, who are the MWBE businesses? I run a report, the DBE businesses, I run a report. So for us, it's a great way that we can find this out because we don't currently collect that information on your member application. Online bill pay. Yes, you can pay your bills online. No, you don't have to call me with your credit card information. You shouldn't call Michelle and I with your credit card information. Um, that is a bad practice. People do that. I just wanna discourage people from doing that. Um, when you do that, I have to write down your credit card information. Um, I do throw it out. I do shred it. I always tell everybody when they do that, um, I would really rather you went through the portal and paid this yourself. If you're adamant, I'm going to help you. It's just not a real safe practice. Um, you can go on the portal. You can click. Uh, you can make a payment by credit card. If you need to somehow figure out a payment schedule, email Michelle and I. We'll talk to Tina. We will gladly work with you on a payment schedule. We have people that pay yearly, quarterly, monthly. We can set up the system and it's automated if that's what you would like. Surveys. Every now and then we send out a survey through the system. We don't really utilize this feature a lot because it relies on you knowing your membership ID number, you knowing your username and password to the system, um, so a lot of times it's actually easier to send out a survey through SurveyMonkey, Wufu, or Google Documents. Um, but we do have this ability if we wanted to. Your referral report. So for me, the chamber is not what the chamber was 30 years ago. People join the chamber nowadays because they want extra exposure. They want to reach more customers. They want to reach more businesses. Um, years ago, that's not what it was about. Here is one of the most valuable tools that we have at our disposal. This is a referral report. As you can see, every single business by month, they can change it, you can make it by year, however you want, but it's set by month right now. You can see how many people went and looked you up online. Total referrals is how many businesses looked you up in our online directory. Not how many businesses we referred to you. It's how many businesses looked you up in our online directory and were referred to your website, referred to your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your TikTok, or whatever you got on there. So for this business, 837 um, people look them up in our directory. What does that mean? 
that means that you're um, an insurance company. Somebody went to our online directory and typed an insurance company. The list of insurance companies came up. They then clicked on your particular profile. 697 people clicked on this profile. 837 looked up insurance companies with 697 clicked on this person's actual profile. 140 of them clicked on the social media or the website that was in this person's listing. And you can see the referrals by type. It shows you what were the different ones. So this is another great way to gauge what's working for me. Is it my Facebook? Is it my Twitter? Is it my Insta Instagram? Um, you know, I, I've seen people have open table on their chamber directory. Um, I've seen some people have um, their LinkedIn company page, Facebook. I mean, there's so many different things that you can put in there. Um, but it's a great way to see what's working. You can also see charts and graphs. Why is there um, highs and lows? Ask yourself, what's going on? What's going on with my business at this time of year? What's going on in the world? If your business is seasonal, I assure you, at different points of the year, you're going to see who's looking up. It's a beautiful day out. Everyone's typing in, opening pools today. You know, we're not opening pools for a month or two. People are starting to think about that. So if you have things that are seasonal, you'll see that. You'll also see that as we're talking about other things, the end of the year, a lot of people are looking up tax-related stuff. A lot of people are looking at um, consultants. A lot of people are looking up, you know, I'm going to evaluate my insurance, my auditing, all of these different things. So it's a great way that you can see when should I be updating my profile? A lot of people aren't looking at it in April, but look at that peak that happened in February. By the end of January, I should really update my profile because this is what's happening. And you can run this for multiple years if you've been a chamber member for a long time and find out what's going on. Um, at the bottom, you'll see that you have the total referrals. As I said, how many people looked up this keyword for your business, the total impressions, how many people clicked on your uh, listing to expand it, um, the total leads, how many people clicked on your social media or your website, the lead rate is the total leads divided by the total impressions. What you see underneath that is the value. The value is calculated by the cost of your chamber membership versus the number of clicks, leads, the lead rate um, for all of your social media and your website, and they each have a different value. Um, for anyone that's interested in marketing, it's the VOI, okay? So it's the click rate value. This one person had um, a chamber value of $2,565 on their online member directory alone. Nothing else from the chamber. If this business didn't read any of our emails, never attended an event, didn't attend a workshop, didn't communicate with us at all, simply had an online directory and nothing else, this business saw a 626 return on their investment from their online directory. If they did anything with us, that's just, icing on the cake. Um, but for everyone, you can go on and you can look and see what is this. The average chamber directory listing sees about 1,500 total impressions a year. Our online directory sees, um, I want to say it was 1.4 something million views a year. So that means that a lot of people are going there. It's actually a lot more residents than it is businesses. Um, the chamber is a B2C as well as a B2B. You need to market yourself that way because you have residents who are looking and we actually field a lot of calls from out of state people asking questions related to businesses on the island. They're thinking of moving here. They are thinking of opening a business here. They are coming here to see family and they have questions about specific businesses on the islands. Where can I do this? What should I do? So your online directory is uh, very important. That's why we're saying it should be updated as often as possible. Um, and you can just click on that button, the year-to-date referral report, and it will show you this. Adding a coupon. As I had said, this is also very powerful. Uh, the Chamber runs member-to-member -member discounts as well as public facing. Really simply do. You log into your account, you click add a coupon. 
says what kind of coupon would you like, member to member, public facing. Then you add in what's the title, what's the description, is there a set price for this? Um, as you go through and you add in everything, when you're done, you hit submit. Once again, Michelle and I get an email, please verify this coupon. We look at the coupon, we make sure everything makes sense. Um, we send you an email saying thank you so much for adding a coupon. We're going to speak with Dom now. Dom's going to figure out how do I get this online? How do I uh, put this in the newsletter? Um, and if Dom catches something we didn't catch, he'll respond to you and say, listen, we might need to tweak this. I need a better picture. Um, you might want to reword this. It's a little confusing. Uh, and, and that's why it's so great that there's two different departments at the chamber that look over all of these things because Dom catches things that Michelle and I just would never think of because we're looking at it logistically. Dom is looking at it from advertising and marketing. Um, so it is really important to do both of those things. Um, last is you enjoy discounts on event registration. Make sure that when you're signing in for events, you're taking advantage of that. Um, not only does it save you time, it saves us time. If you have to book a ticket for an event, pay non-member discount, then email Tina. Tina has to give you a refund. Um, think of your accountant. Your accountant now has to reconcile all of these different expenses and you know, debts and credits. You're just making more work for everybody. Um, just streamline it. If you ever have a question and don't know, there is a forgot your password. Um, but I would tell you honestly, reach out to Michelle and I, we don't mind. You know, uh, you can call us, you can text us, you can send us an email, um, whatever you're more comfortable with. If you ask me for your username and password, you're going to get two separate emails because I'm not putting them both in the same thing. Um, more than likely, I would tell you that I would probably call you with one or the other. I'll give you your username, I'll call you with your password. Um, text, no problem, I'll text you both. But you can do that. You can also reach out to us and ask us about this. Um, it's a good way to make sure that you're still being able to log in. That is our basic member clicks uh, online program. Um, it is very detailed. It is not hard to use though. Uh, the chamber has spent a lot of uh, money and resources on our online directory, on our CRM. It's not perfect. There's always things that need to be updated as there is with every CRM. Um, but we'll tell you, speaking with other chambers, evaluating what other chambers are doing, the members that are taking advantage of their online directory, it is really useful. If you saw from that one slide, that company that saw a 626 return on their investment with the member directory alone, that's fantastic. Imagine if they applied and got a PPP loan because of the chamber, or they were connected to a grant, or they were able to work with another business on something. All of those different ways that you're receiving more added benefit, not just from your online directory. Um, what I'd like to do at this point is uh, I'd like to kind of open the floor in case there's anyone that has any questions or if um, there's just anything that anybody really wants to know. You can just raise your hand, um, just like I just did, um, if you have a question, or you can put it in the chat. Um, I see that Ellen had asked, um, can you go over what the extra $100 will give a standard member? Sure, that's no problem. So um, with the standard membership, you get a regular online directory listing. I'm gonna pull this up right now so I can actually show you. Okay, so you're seeing right now is our online directory. Um, I'll go to the first category right here. If you go to the first category, what you notice is this. There are different colors. The different colors represent the level of that person's membership. So what you're noticing is that certain people um, are blue because they have an enhanced directory. Um, if I wanted to look at somebody that had an enhanced directory, and um, I didn't look over the chat, so I'm not really 100% sure who's here today, um, but I'm just going to pick on somebody that I know I worked on theirs. Okay, this is the online directory listing for Techie Geek. Um, you see that he has a blue box around his listing. 
Um, he's got a larger font that came with the standard membership. He's got all of his different affiliations um, because he's involved in a lot of things. He has a video that's underneath his logo, much larger than that little 300 by 300. And he has some text. Um, if I picked up, let's see. Um, I'll just go here for a second. This is a standard membership. There's all text, um, but there's not really anything else. Um, there's nothing here I can click on. Nothing embedded. If, um, let me see, Michelle, who was somebody that you updated recently? Um, Integration Charter School. Thank you. You're welcome. You see that Integration Charter School is red, outlining the membership level that they're at. They have a video in here. You do have the ability to add in other things, not where the flyer is at at the left. You can embed everything underneath here. I'll show you one more. Um, so this is Staten Island Media Group. Notice the difference right off the bat the size of the font. There's graphics thrown in here. Things I can click on that are gonna take me directly to their website. Um, if I was looking at this, I would say that this is more like their actual website um, than it is a straightforward member directory. Michelle is asking if we can check hers. Center for Independent Living. Sure, hold on one second, Michelle. And if anybody wants a one-on-one -on -one with us, don't worry about it. Just, you know, um, you can always reach out to us. Um, we want you to utilize your membership directory to your fullest. If you're not putting things in there, not really going to see that much with it. Uh, you're also um, going to wonder why you're not getting a lot of referrals as compared to other people. Let me just share this. Hold on one second. Share the right screen. Okay. If you're looking at this right now, you see Staten Island Center for Independent Living. Their text is a little bit larger. They have their rotary. They have their 25-year member. Um, and then they have a little bit of text. Still not really anything in there um, where we can do other things. We can embed flyers. We take the flyers. We convert the flyers into images, and then we add them in there. We could take things from your website and mirror it so that you're seeing it in there using HTML codes. Um, but those are all easy ways that we could do that. Um, went over that one, let's see. Any other questions that anyone has? So the online directory, like I said, it's not very complicated to update. Um, when you're looking at what do I get out of this, I would tell you that from a membership standpoint, you know, looking at the different tiers that we have, your member directory is a large component that we're able to show you. All of the other things that we do, sometimes they're hard to quantify and qualify. You know, your membership, the majority of your money from your membership actually goes to the advocacy efforts that the chamber does. 
So that's kind of hard to show you, like, you know, what's the value of Linda having meetings with the mayor, the governor, all these different elected officials, or all of these different networking groups, you know, to help bring resources in. Who really wants to hear about that? Um, but they are important. When we look at the member directory, this is a very concrete one. How many people clicked on your profile? How many people clicked on your website, clicked on your social media? How do I get more out of it? If your click rate um, is high, you're going to convert more businesses. Now, what we're not tracking on there is how many new customers you have. They're going to your website, they're going to your business. Unless you're asking people, where did you hear about me? I can just tell you who went to your site. I can't tell you whether it's confirmed businesses. But the fact is that if we're getting 1500 views on your directory listing, even if only 30 of them are clicking, it's 30 new customers. If 30 of them are clicking and going over and following up with you, you're finding 30 new customers that way. Um, it's much cheaper than actually taking out marketing uh, and it can be updated as much as possible. Um, so if you have any questions, um, if there's anything that comes up, you can always reach out to us. I know that anyone that registered today has Michelle's contact information. Um, if anybody wants to reach out to me, I'm just gonna throw my email address in here. Um, if you need more information, you know, feel free. You can always go on the Chamber's website. You can always click on, uh, you know, the join to find out some information. You can click on the learn more. Um, you can send us an inquiry. One of us, whether it's Dominic, Michelle or myself will be the person who gets back to you depending on what your inquiry is really related to. Um, but if you have any other questions, you know, uh, we do have a few minutes left. We'd be happy to answer them. Okay. Um, with that, I would like to thank everybody that came today. Um, you know, taking the time to come and see what this is about is that step closer to redoing your membership profile and making it more effective. Uh, in the coming weeks or so, Michelle and I will reach out to everyone who registered today. We'll ask if you need any help and see if there's anything that we can do for you. Um, Dom puts this in the newsletter periodically about updating your profile or if you need help, reach out to us. Um, but we'll do it as another step. Uh, if there's any questions that you have, feel free. Um, I noticed that there were some non-members that were on here. If you have questions about the chamber, what membership is, what do you get out of your membership, um, feel free. Once again, reach out to us. You know, Always willing to have a discussion with you and see if it's a right fit. Um, but I did wanna say thank you to everybody who came today for your time. Um, we hope to hear from you soon. Uh, and we uh, look forward to working with you in the coming year.